What is good, YouTube Quinway Basketball Analysis? Coming to y'all with that instant analysis on YouTube on analysisplayground.com. We're going to talk about the Portland Trail Blazers losing 120 to 121 to the Denver Nuggets. The Nuggets improved to 15 and 10, 9 and 7 away from Denver. The Blazers fall to 13 and 12. They're 5 and 6 at home. And then they ended up losing. The, they won the first quarter 36 to 30. They lost the second quarter 28 to 33. They lost. They won the third quarter 35 to 26. And they lost the fourth quarter 21 to 32. They allowed a comeback by Denver to close out the game. Jamal Murray was huge with the three. We're going to start off with the Blazers. Jeremy Grant. 18 points, plus 5 and plus minus, 3 personal fouls, 1 block, 1 steal, 3 assists, 3 rebounds, 4 of 4 from the free throw line, 2 of 7 from 3, 6 of 15 from the field. He was looking for a shot, didn't fall as much as he wanted to tonight, but he was overall good and had a good performance. Just a solid game from him. Yusuf Nurkic, him and Jokic used to play on the same team in Denver. They had to let one of them go. They let Nurkic go. He has been a solid starter for the Blazers for multiple years. 21 points, plus 10 and plus minus. He did get in some foul trouble. He had five personal fouls, three turnovers, but he did end up with two blocks, two steals, two assists, and nine rebounds. Just a great game overall for Yusuf Nurkic. 1-1 from the free throw line, 2-3 from the three-point line, 9-10 from the field. Efficient tonight also getting his post shots to go, getting his mid-range to go, getting his three ball to go. Everything was going for Nurkic tonight. He really wanted to have a great showing, and he did that. Um, Damian Lillard was back in full effect, 40 points plus 11 and plus minus, two personal fouls, one turnover, two steals, 12 assists, so a double-double, 40 and 10 for Damian Lillard. He also had four rebounds, seven, I mean, seven of seven from the free throw line, nine to 17 from three. So he hoisted a lot of threes tonight, was really looking for that, was able to shoot above 50%, but was really aggressive looking for the three point shot, and he was able to knock them down tonight. 12 of 22 from the field, so he was efficient from the field too. Hit his jump shots, hit his layups, hit his floaters. Had everything, the whole package going tonight. It's just sad that they ended up coming up a little short. Josh Hart, 12 points, plus 10 and plus minus, two personal fouls, two turnovers, three steals, three assists, six rebounds, two of two from the free throw line, all one from three, five of 10 from the field. This is a, a decent game for Josh Hart. Really rebounded well again, but facilitated and got his steals, playing hard nose defense, and that's something you can come to expect from him. Anthony Simons had a disappointing game. Six points, negative one and plus minus four personal fouls, four turnovers, five assists, um, 0 of 6 from the three-point line, no free throws attempted, 3 of 12 from the field. Really was looking for a jump shot to fall tonight. Didn't really, wasn't able to get that going all night. Couldn't even make a three, which is rare for him. But it happens. He just keep his head up, keep playing hard, keep, keep stroking that thing, and then go in the next game. This is his first bad game in about a month. So it, it was bound to happen eventually. It just sad that it ended up happening when Dame needed him the most. Just as Winslow, four points, negative 10 and plus minus, two personal fouls, four assists, five rebounds, two of six from the field. Drew Ebanks, um, seven points, negative 11 and plus minus, two personal fouls, one steal, two rebounds, one on one from the three point line, three or five from the field. Wofford, two points, negative four and plus minus, one turnover, one assist, three rebounds, two or two from the free throw line, or two from the field. Keldon Johnson, three point, I mean, not Keldon, but Johnson, three points, um, negative, I mean, plus one and plus minus. Zero, one on one from the three point line, or one on one from the field. Shaden Sharp, another decent game for him. Seven points, negative 16 and plus minus, one assist, three rebounds. He was one of four from three, but he was three of eight from the field. Brown, the third, and Walker did not play. They was 48% from the field as a team, 40% from three as a team, and they made every single free throw tonight. They also had 38 rebounds, 30 assists, 10 steals, three blocks. 12 turnovers and 20 personal fouls as a team tonight. They fouled too much, and they also um, 
didn't rebound the ball the way they needed to tonight. Gave too many second opportunities to the Denver Nuggets. But the Nuggets played a solid game. Again, Aaron Gordon, the Swiss Army knife, 20 points, negative 13 plus minus, but he did have four personal fouls, three turnovers, one steal, five rebounds, two or two from the free throw line, two or three from the three-point line, eight or 12 from the field, was able to hit his threes, was able to hit his mid-range, was able to get out in transition, was able to get his cuts going. This is a good all-around game again by Aaron Gordon. Bruce Brown, 10 points, negative 17 and plus minus three personal fouls, one turnover, two steals, four rebounds, 0-2 from the free throw line, 0-2 from the three-point line, 5-8 from the field. This is a good heady play from Bruce Brown. Nikola Jokic, finally a dominant game again. 33 points, negative 8 and plus minus, one personal foul only. He did have a bunch of turnovers with six, but he also had one block, nine assists, 10 rebounds, so 30 and 10 for Jokic. Four or six from the free throw line, one or three from the three point line, 14 or 25 from the field. Just dominated the interior, wasn't as great from the outside the interior tonight. Jamal Murray hit the game winner, 21 points plus 16 or plus minus, two turnovers, one steal, eight assists. Two or three from the free throw line, three or ten from the three point line, eight or twenty one from the field. Was looking for a shot. No Michael Porter Jr. tonight, but Jamal Murray was hitting his jump shots. Was looking for his floater. Was using his handle to get to his spots. He just got to get more bounce and more touch, and then he can be more effective and efficient. Caldwell Pope, seven points, negative twenty, and plus minus one personal foul, two assists, three rebounds, one on one from the free throw line, two or four from the three point line, two assists from the field. He was flowing and going tonight. Was proud to see him knock down shots. Green, six points, plus fourteen and plus minus three personal foul, two turnovers, one steal, three assists, four rebounds, three or four from the free throw line, one or two from the three point line, one or four from the field. This is a okay game from him. This is a bench player, so you don't really expect to have crazy games. He did his defense. He did his rebound. He did his assist. So it's just a, a decent game from him. Concar, zero points, negative five plus minus. He did have two assists and one rebound. Zeros across the board from field goal, three point, and uh, free throw points. DeAndre Jordan, five points, plus nine, and plus minus one person foul, three blocks, six rebounds. He rebounded the ball. He protected the rim. This did an okay job tonight. Uh, one or two from the free throw line, two or two from the field. Bones Highland, another great game off the bench. 13 points, nine, plus 19, and plus, and plus minus. One personal foul, one turnover, one steal, four assists, five rebounds. Did it all tonight off the bench. 22 or two from the free throw line, 33 or uh, six from the three point line, four or nine from the field. This is a great game, again, from Bones Highland. I'm really proud of how he has played. He should be in the sixth man of the year conversation just because his rebounds, assists, and his point totals are going up each and every game. He just has to do it for a longer stretch of time, and then that put him in the conversation. Braun, six points, plus 10 and plus minus, two personal fouls, one turnover, one block, five rebounds. He also was zero from three-point and free throw because he didn't tip none. Three or four from the free – from the field, Zeke Naji, Watson, Smith, and Reed did not play. Neither did Michael Porter Jr. Like I said before, he missed eight straight games tonight, and they was able to win by one point without him. They shot 51% from the field, 40% from three, which was absolutely amazing for them. 68% from the free throw line. That's something they're going to have to improve next game. Hopefully they do and make the job a lot easier to get done. And if they can knock down their free throws, they have um, 16 offensive rebounds. That just can't happen if you're the Blazers. The the Nuggets just wanted it more. They have the size. They have the quickness. And they utilize it to the best of their advantage tonight. They also have 48 rebounds total. Just really dominated on the boards compared to the Blazers. That's, they, that's how they ended up winning this game. 28 assists. They also had six steals, five blocks, 16 turnovers. And 16 personal foul, they foul less than the Blazers, and that helped them stay in the game too. And ultimately, was the reason why they won was just they played smarter, they played harder, and they just literally shot the ball amazing each all night. So I'm just good to I'm happy to see what the the Denver Nuggets have done has been impressive. They have remained one of the best teams in the NBA, even though they have went through a lot of injuries like a lot of other teams. 
they have a lot of buckets that they've been getting, and a team has been able to shoot the ball well from three in mid-range, and Jokic has been able to be dominant in the paint. Inside out is how you usually win basketball games. They have the talent to be one of the best inside out teams. They just have to defend better if they want to be a championship team. And their defense has been decent, but they need to go up another notch. But they need to get healthy first, and then we can see how really good this Denver Nuggets team is. Is they elite or is they a great team? Is they elite or are they a great team? Is they pretenders or is they contenders? We will see in the next two months if this team is a contender or a pretender. I think that they definitely is a contender. They just need to take a little bit more pride on the defensive end to get to that next level. If they do that, then they can really become a contender that can beat the Phoenixes, the Bostons, and the Milwaukees. Because those teams play hard, they rebound well, but they defend at an elite level. And that's going to be something that's questionable for the Nuggets at this point. But we'll see what they do in the future. Other than that, like the video to show support. Continue to like to show support. I like the fact that y'all continue to like and continue to subscribe and continue to share. That's a way to so support a channel that's giving out free content. So I love that. And also check out my Facebook page, like on Facebook, follow me on Instagram. I have an Instagram, Twitter, and a Facebook. You can follow me on there. All you have to do is click my channel. The icons will be on my banner, and then you can follow me on there. Also, check out my podcast on Anchor FM. It's the same podcast, just an audio version. And then you can listen to it on there if you don't like the video version. It's an audio version on podcast on Google Plus and Apple Music and, and Apple Podcasts. Other than that, Quinn Way Best for Nas is signing out. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day. And I'll see y'all hopefully on Friday.